Good morning, guys. Yeah, we're bucket blitzing for the Salvation Army. I've actually got a couple of people to come put in donations here during commercial breaks, which has been really great. You can text to give from home. Text SAL to 24365. And again, we also have the QR codes up here, too, that you can donate electronically. Let's get to your forecast. It's misting out here. Visibility is really dropping. We've got fog issues this morning. A dense fog advisory is in effect for counties west of Highway 65 until 9 a.m. That's where visibility is really dropping to a quarter mile or less. It is a quarter mile visibility in Clinton, a half a mile in Springfield, and two miles visibility in Branson this morning. A couple of clouds, but still dry. No snow or a rain to worry about. However, we never really warmed up above freezing yesterday. So anything that was slick on bridges, overpasses, sidewalks is still slick this morning. We also have some of that fog freezing on elevated surfaces. So again, be careful. And it is cold with wind chills in the teens. It's 25 degrees in Springfield right now, 27 in Camdenton. Winds are out of the west at about five-ish miles per hour. Wind chills are a little bit better than yesterday. It's still pretty cold, though. 17 is your real feel in Rolla, and 16 is your real feel in West Plains. Fog and isolated cases of black ice are concerns this morning, so please keep that in mind. They get better as we have through the day today. Uh, the roads will, roads and sidewalks will really improve because we'll go out. Mostly sunny skies today and 41 degrees on south and west winds as we are bucket blitzing here at Bass Pro. Ozarks Fox AM is about to take over here at Bass Pro from 7 to 9 and then I'll be live at Chick-fil-A for midday continuing our bucket blitz. We'll see you guys then. Joe, Lauren. All right, thank you, Elisa. Now, if you were out driving yesterday, maybe you were by the mall, Glenstone and Battlefield area, you may have noticed a rally taking place on the side of the road last night. With the vote to impeach President Trump happening today, citizens made a stand on impeachment in town. This rally was organized by those voicing their support for impeachment. However, there were a few who showed up to protest who have been against what's going on in Washington. We caught up with people on both sides of this issue. You know, this is Constitution. This is about what the founding fathers, this was their greatest fear, is that a president would come and invite foreign interference in our elections. So people that say, let's just wait and vote him out, he's already messing in that election. If they had all this evidence, he wouldn't have made it to the nomination. If they had this evidence, he wouldn't have made it to president. And now here we are. They, they have nothing except to, you know, call for impeachment. So we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what the evidence is. I want to see both, you know, both sides represented. The full House vote is happening later today. A day long debate will begin at eight o'clock central time. The Senate trial is pending on whether to remove President Trump from office. If that were to happen, it would come next month. In your medical coverage, many people living in the Ozarks might be familiar with the lack of rural hospitals in Missouri, which could be an issue candidates focus their campaigns on heading into the 2020 election. Some patients have to travel more than an hour and a half to see a doctor. With hospitals in debt, some even closing, some candidates see the lack of medical care options as a key campaign point. We spoke with Donald Babb. He's the CEO of Citizens Memorial Hospital in Bolivar. He says while candidates may make campaign promises to fix the rural hospital crisis, he's not sure if they'll be able to follow through. I think uh, you hear a lot of them talk about it, but you don't see a lot of activity. Uh, you know, once they get in office, there's, they find other priorities. All the legislative people within our immediate area, we're in contact with continually, uh, and they understand the struggles, but also they understand the limitations of the state and what they can do. The 2020 legislative session in Missouri begins after the new year. Moving to some more local news for you, three nominees have been chosen for the next associate judge in Greene County. The 31st Circuit Judicial Commission chose those nominees after two days of interviews with nine candidates total. Todd Thornhill, Timothy Todd Myers, and David Mercer are your nominees. Those pos that position became vacant after Becky Borthwick was chosen for a circuit judge position in Greene County. Governor Mike Parson now has 60 days to make a selection from those nominees. Also need to let you know as you wake up, Hoover Music Company in Springfield has announced it will be closing its doors in mid-January. The president of Hoover Music Company, James Brian Hoover, made that announcement on Facebook this week, and some people in the community are sharing how they feel about the news. I was really disappointed because it's been a big part of my life for so many years. So I don't know, they've just become family, 
and it's just kind of really sad. It's, they're just such an icon here in Springfield. In that same post, Hoover says the company has been part of the community for the past 107 years and part of five generations of the Hoover family. The post goes on to say there will be more details coming soon for those who have rental contracts with Hoover Music. For more information on the history of the company, check out our website for an interview with John Sellers from the History Museum. Ozark's Food Harvest will be receiving another protein donation today to help feed food insecure families. The donation of 7,000 pounds of chicken from Smart Chicken will happen at 10 this morning at Ozark's Food Harvest. It's all part of Smart Chicken's annual Smart Giving Holiday Challenge campaign. And sticking in that holiday spirit, here's a story that scores a 10 with us. A group of local businessmen hope to bring a little Christmas spirit to some families in need. Color 10's Nigel McDonald was there for it all and joins us this morning to share more on Help Give Hope. Nigel? Good morning, Lauren and Joe. This week was Help Give Hope's annual toy giveaway. The organization now serves close to 200 families. Help Give Hope began nearly 40 years ago when three local men wanted to create a way to help families in the Ozarks. Back in 1981, the men were able to help five families in need. And each year, the group's efforts have grown. On Friday, we have what we call Santa deliveries. Well, one of the guys dresses up as Santa and we go out on 60 deliveries. We actually deliver the presents and the bikes. Then Santa sits with the children and we take pictures and then give them pictures with Santa. So most of them can't go see Santa, so this way we're able to do that. Orsh says the group's 2018 Christmas efforts served 582 children in the Ozarks. All right, very good to hear. Thank you, Nyjah. Over the next several days, we are asking to, from you to hear about someone you consider to be remarkable. Our station's Ozarks Fox and Color 10 are hoping to honor women in the Ozarks with an award that will send someone to New York City. You go to OzarksFirst.com, look under the Living Local tab and choose Contest. From there, you'll see a nomination form where you can tell us all about a woman you consider to be remarkable. We are looking for women who inspire, lead, and clear a path for the success of other women. Four local people will be profiled. One will be chosen to represent the Ozarks at the Mel Robbins Show in New York City. This deadline is quickly approaching. To nominate someone, you need to do so by December 31st. So if you have someone in mind, you might do it now. Yes, of course. Very good to hear of those that help clear that path, as we said, for other women there. So whether it's something that they're doing in the community or just at their business for professionalism, Things like that. Very good to see. We know right? you're out there. We want to recognize you, so get on that. We also want to let you know uh, some of the top trends happening on Google this morning. The first one is impeachment. We've brought you that story all morning. That vote is expected to begin today at 8 o'clock Central Time. Yeah, there's a debate first going on, but as when these House of Representative folks are saying how they're going to vote, it seems that impeachment will likely happen. And remember, there are two articles of impeachment. CBS This Morning will be following this story directly after daybreak, and then come 8 o'clock, you can find it on Color 10 as well. And if that were to happen, it would go to a Senate trial to debate about removing the president from office. That would happen um, in January. Mm -hmm. And okay. all of this, uh, we should mention that if this happens, Donald Trump will be the third president ever to be impeached. All right. Uh, we've got a sports trend happening for you as well. The Pro Bowl, football's all-star game, announce those rosters. Not a lot of people playing this, but you know what? It's good to be recognized, right? And then the Chiefs have six people going right now. How oh, do you like that? I like that a lot. Is that six is quite a bit? Pat Mahomes, of course, okay. yes. Tyreek Hill, also six is quite a bit to answer your question. Travis Kelsey voted as a starter. Gotta love to hear that, right? Oh. And then on defense, Frank Clark and Chris Jones also going to start. And Nicole Hardman will return those punts. It'll be good to see. But... That's played the weekend before the Super Bowl. So if you're in the Super Bowl, you don't play in the Pro Bowl at all. Okay. so That's what we want to happen. <laughs> right. right. So even though we have six of our Chiefs maybe in the Pro Bowl, yeah. we don't want to see them there. We want to see them in the Super Bowl. That's what we're saying. And okay. that's in Miami. That's a better place, right? Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for starting your morning with us here on Daybreak. More news comes your way soon and always on OzarksFirst.com.